So here's our magic sheet. Uh, you'll see it looks a lot like the lighting plot that uh, Scott Giesler sent you here in Kingswood. Uh, I'm going to zoom in. Make sure that when you're working with, a ma with your magic sheet or with your show that the name of your school appears at the top of the screen um, because you don't want to be in the wrong... That's your, uh, that's your show file name. Um, okay, I can use the wheel on the mouse to zoom in. And, of course, we want to make sure we get the right position. There we go. Now we have a good way to look at everything here. We can see just what we need. Um, <clears throat> suppose we want light in zone 4. We can simply click that, and you'll see it highlights. And down here in the uh, command line, it says channel 4. And then if we want to set it at an intensity, we could set it at 80% right there. We're getting a command here that says intensity palette number 8, which sets it at 80%. We could change our mind and decide to set it at 40%. You can see it responding on stage over there, I think, in your, um, on your screen. Let me double check that. Yeah. Um, and these are standard source 4 ellipsoidals, so they don't have color changing capability. They are all gelled with no color pink, which is a very friendly cover to the human body. Um, we can also use the wheel on the console to adjust the level. You see the level here in percentage and, uh, and also the, the brightness of the zone here on screen changes to let you know what's going on. Um, yes, so I can take that all the way up to full or down to any level we want. Um, the other thing that we could do, uh, first of all, if we want to get rid of this, uh, to do that you use the clear key on the lower left corner of the keypad, and that clears the command line. Uh, notice the light is still on, so to make that go off we can use the sneak key which is in the upper right corner to the right of the numeric keypad, and sneak at, enter, we'll take them all out like that. Um, if we wanted to bring up the whole downstage wash, we could select multiple circles here, multiple zones. Um, I'm going to clear that with a shift clear. I've got this button over here that's the downstage wash group. So now that's group one, and now we can just set that at whatever level we want it and we're good to go or we can adjust it with the fader wheel and use that uh, or we can go back to a intensity palette. If we wanted a cyclorama to be blue these are your three primary psych colors these are traditional psych lights that are gelled um, and so we don't have uh, color mixing like you would with an LED, but you can color mix manually, and so we can start with the blue. So I've just clicked that, and it's highlighted. I can go to 100% here, and you see the psych is now blue, um, and the percentage has appeared here. Okay, it runs on top of the 18. Sorry about that. Uh, if I want to add the red psych, we could put that up at 100%, and we've got a purple, but I'm thinking, oh, that's too red. Let me turn it down to 70%. I click the 70 or we can adjust it with the wheel and take it down to just what we want. I'm thinking maybe that blue is too bright too, so let's turn that down and we'll go back and turn down the, the red with some of the um, with the wheel also. And once you've established a look that you like, you can record this either as a cue or you can record it to a submaster and then you're, you're good to go. Um, make sure you save your show.